why but i am in a really really stupid do you know what i need to stop trying to use fancy english on this youtube because every time i'm just butchering it i'm in a good mood today that's it <laughs> your brother-in-law your father-in-law your ex-husband how are they all doing let me know in the comment section below how are they all doing and how are you doing okay i'm gonna close my window because okay i just had to close my window because where my camera is i've got my big window right behind it to give me a lot of natural light but also what it gives you is a lot of natural sound and there's a lot of birds chirping right now so before we get started on this video ramadan mubarak to all my muslim brothers and sisters i hope you guys are having a really good ramadan i hope that the fast is going good for you and i hope you're taking the time in this month to reflect on yourself reflect on your relationship with allah and your deen and i also hope that it's a time that you're coming together with family as well and inshallah this month goes really really well for us so in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to let you guys know of some of my favorite podcasts i listen to a lot of podcasts on a regular basis but particularly in ramadan so music is a big part of my life i love music i used to host a music event and i also used to host my own radio show as well brunching with bell i really miss radio i really really want to get back into radio but i just have my priorities right now obviously in ramadan we can't listen to any secular music so in ramadan i'm listening to even more podcasts than i do on a regular basis it really helped me in terms of being a muslim being a muslim woman and also being a black muslim woman as well but i am also going to share with you some podcasts that aren't necessarily islam or muslim related podcasts that i believe feed your soul and your mind and can help in you improving and being a better version of yourself so without further ado let's get into it so i've got my phone right here. i'm gonna start off with the more islamic ones and then i'm gonna go on to the more general ones so the first podcast i'm gonna talk about is it's not actually a podcast but it's more audio from some of of her talks and it's by Yasmin Mugahed. I hope I'm saying her name right. Now I found out about her and her talks through Twitter I think. Someone tweeted a link to one of her talks and I think the talk was entitled Allah always gives you better. I listened to it and I just loved how she eloquently spoke about Islam, how she spoke about the teachings of the Prophet and also just how she put certain things into perspective by using Islamic examples and then since then I went on to look at other talks that she had and one talk in particular that I absolutely love and I re-listen to sometimes is one entitled The Beautiful Heart of the Prophet. I've all the talks or podcasts i've listened to by her that one is my favorite and i'll really recommend it if you're finding it hard to forgive someone or if you in general find it hard to forgive i find it quite hard to forgive people and what i've done throughout the years is i say yeah i forgive this person but i don't wish them well that's not really forgiving to truly forgive someone is to release the hurt and the anger that you have towards them and she just puts a lot of things into perspective and one of the examples that she said in that particular talk that really sort of i was like wow was when she spoke about the ayah for abu bakr and i think the ayah was let them pardon and forgive and this was when abu bakr found out that one of his close relatives were partaking in gossiping about his daughter and this was a relative that he was actually giving financial aid to what he did is he stopped the financial aid but when he prayed to allah about it the ayah that allah said to him is let them pardon and forgive and she said another quote which was do you not wish for allah to forgive you you have to to listen to the whole talk because i feel as if i may not give it enough justice so i will link it in the description bar below but essentially what she was saying is we hope for allah to forgive us in our miscomings so who are we to say that someone isn't worth our forgiveness and in all honesty forgiveness is more for you than the other person because someone can hurt you and you can hold on to that hurt and hold on to that anger and you'll see them living their best life they are holding so much space in your heart and in your mind while you are probably not a second thought to them so forgiveness is definitely more for you than the other person i could do a whole whole video on forgiveness but whenever i'm finding it hard to forgive someone that is one of the talks i always re-listen to just to remind myself i would just really really recommend it definitely definitely please listen to it and please subscribe to her talks or her podcast as well so next up we have the muslim girl podcast now this podcast i actually only found recently a few months ago but it has slowly become one of my favorite podcasts Nora, who is the person who started the podcast 
podcast i think she's from yemen but she lives in america and she created this podcast in her own words she said that in yemen or in her life in general she's come across so many amazing muslim women that have a lot of interesting stories but i think in her culture it's kind of taboo to have your picture taken or to be very public and open in social media and online so she thought how can i interview these women and have their stories told and doing a podcast is the best way because apart from their voices you won't see their face their name can be concealed and what she's doing is she's challenging the way arab muslim women are protected in the media now there's a reason why i say arab muslim women because i always say this there's a big difference between being a black muslim and then being an arab or an asian muslim but that's a video for a completely another day but yeah i think she's challenging a lot of status quo and challenging the way that western media likes to portray arab muslim women there's a recent episode that she did with these two guys and she's talking about how muslim brothers can be allies to muslim women and the conversation that she had it was so open and so refreshing and so candid because it was a conversation that i don't really see in a lot of muslim or islamic content online i may be wrong but i don't know of any podcast where it's um a group of muslim men and muslim women talking together at the same time a lot of the podcasts i find are either all muslim men or all muslim women and i have this thing where i don't like to listen to muslim uh, not even just muslim men i don't like to listen to men tell women what they should do especially when it's men that don't really have a lot of female friends or don't have a lot of female people around them you're not a woman you can give your opinion and that's fine but there's some men that they use religion as a way of justifying some of the things that they say and they're actually quoting the religion wrongly i just really like this particular episode because they spoke very candidly and very openly and it's so weird listening to obviously we're all muslim but different cultures sort of portray the muslim women yeah i just really love the conversation and i love her podcast because she talks about a lot of things that people sometimes are afraid to talk about in the muslim community but need to be spoken about i love the fact that she's a woman and she's doing this and she's creating a safe space for muslim women to be able to talk except is a podcast called mindful muslima and it's run by a lady she's a wife and a mother and the thing that i like about her episodes is that they're like short snippets of information to feed your soul so if you're someone who you don't like listening to long episodes i like listening to long episodes but every now and again you might want to listen to a short smith to a short smith a short oh my god a short snippet you might want to listen to a short snippet of an episode that may talk about how to focus your mind or may discuss a certain quran verse and the thing that's really really unique about her podcast is she's very open without being open you don't know too much about her personal life or her husband or her kids but she uses examples in her personal life so it's a really really good technique that she has because i feel like i don't know a lot about her but i don't feel inquisitive like i don't want to know not to say that i wouldn't want to i mean if she wants to talk more about herself completely open to that but she's given me enough in that i respect her for not being too open about all aspects of her life and some of the tips that she gives about time management and marriage is so so insightful and especially me as a newly married woman i'm always open to refreshing content that not just tells me about marriage but tells me about marriage in an islamic context sometimes it's nice to listen to people who give you real life examples and say not everyone's marriage is perfect something that i like about this new generation oh i don't want to say new generation generation of muslim but i'll just i'll say i like about my generation is that i feel like we're being a lot more open we're having open conversations that say our mothers or our aunties didn't have so that we don't have to take some of the things that they had to because we're in a different position right now and another podcast that it's not an islamic podcast but the three people who run the podcast they're all muslim i just relate to them so so much it's called blacklisted uk podcast so it's run by cool red um masters i don't know if it's babs or master sadiq and then ish i relate to them so much being a black muslim one being a muslim that lives in the uk and being an african muslim i'll let you know now like i said it's not an islamic podcast it's more of a podcast about life once again just very open conversation they don't just talk about islam but they talk about life they talk about music and they talk about islam in a black contents and they talk about black muslims the islam that people don't really want you to know about and they talk about the black history that some historians have tried to erase
always from us it really does feed my soul and it's entertaining as well like it is so entertaining and i really love the three of them together i love ish we follow each other on twitter and she's just so she's just down to earth she's real i hate when people say i'm real i'm real but you get what i mean when i say like she's just real i would definitely recommend you to check out blacklisted even if you're not muslim even if you're not a black muslim it is it is a podcast that would feed your soul as well as entertain you so i think that's a perfect segue into the podcast that aren't really islamic or muslim podcasts but i believe you can listen to them in ramadan and outside of ramadan as well sorry i have an autistic younger brother and he is currently banging on the door you guys should already know he's pasuma my baby so the first is trust in the process and this is ran by deborah chosen this podcast is the perfect example of feeding your soul so trusting the process i believe is a term that deborah coined just to trust life trust god and trust what he has planned for you and trust the process of where you want to get to and enjoy the process as well and in the podcast she has some amazing guests she recently had her live show and in her live show she was interviewing dior who owns pepper your talk and that conversation she had with Dior was I can't even I can't explain the conversation she had with Dior there were so many gems this podcast just helps you become a better version of you and the thing I love about the podcast is she brings real people real women they have real conversations real examples of hard work and how they've navigated through their professional lives being women being black women in a professional setting can you tell that I really love I really love the podcast and every time I listen to any episode I always have something to take away from it the recent one I believe she had was with Hannah who's a BBC Africa journalist there was a part when Hannah spoke about how she wanted to get into this particular university I believe it was Surrey University and she didn't get in and she was so down about it. but then a few years later she was actually invited to do a TEDx talk at that university and I'm just summarizing really quickly but she gives the whole timeline really get to learn her story and it helps you with your own story and I'm the type of person I really like to learn from other people which is probably why I really like podcasts the conversations that she has with and the women that she brings on to her podcasts are just so enriching you guys should definitely check out the trust in the process podcast another podcast that i love is mostly lit i do believe i've spoken about it before i think i spoke about it last year i love mostly lit i absolutely love mostly lit it's lit and i love the play on the words because it's mostly lit nowadays we use the phrase lit it's lit it's lit my hair is lit no but my hair is really really lit my hair is giving you diana ross litness but the lit hair actually stands for literature so it's it is a podcast about books sometimes they bring writers on so you have Ray, Rafiq and Alex Reads as well I think I think initially it used to be three of them but I think now there's only two I am a book person I've always been a book person I'm the student that got in trouble in maths because I was reading underneath the table rather than doing multiplications which personally I felt that I would not be using in my real life but yeah I've always loved books and I love how they speak about books and I've found so many good book recommendations from that podcast and it's just so entertaining even if you're not a book person i would still recommend listening to it because it is entertaining as well but it's entertaining educational and you have a lot of good read recommendations as well so next up is a podcast that i found recently and i think they started it recently as well and it's called two queens in a pod this podcast is run by two lovely ladies leah and iman so it's a fashion and beauty podcast and they talk about things that as an influencer i'm interested in and things that modern day women i believe are interested in so fashion beauty not to discredit anyone else but it's not just a sort of fashion like oh i got this from primark not to say there's anything wrong with primark but they talk about the high end and the low end and they talk about quality pieces both of them are just so entertaining especially if you are a beauty blogger or an influencer actually even if you're not i would really recommend just if you're a girl who likes fashion and beauty i would definitely recommend their podcast it feeds my fashion and beauty and creative side and i think that it's very very important to feed that side of you as well and for me fashion isn't just clothes and throwing them on fashion is it's expressing yourself through clothes it's building a collection it's making you feel good about yourself and that's what they talk about so last but by absolutely no means least it is my receipt girls i'm calling them my receipt girls like we're sisters in my mind we're sisters tolly who i absolutely adore audrey and melena i adore all of them all of them i think all my friends know that i love the receipts podcast everyone loves the receipt who does not 
love the receipts girls like they are hold on i don't want to call them the receipts girl but the receipts like who does not love them their podcast is i've been listening from episode one and there isn't one episode of the receipts that i've listened to and i thought Mm. every episode gives something different they're just so open about women being women they talk about things like vaginal discharge boyfriends and about the stupid mistakes they've made with men and i just want to give like a special shout out to audrey because she's actually married but audrey will sometimes be the first person to say oh yeah i remember when this guy took me for an idiot or this that that and i just love how open she is because sometimes people put this projection of married women that after you're married you shouldn't talk about anything you did before you're married and i find that so weird because it's not that oh i became a woman after i became married like i was a woman before that i have experiences before i became married and i should be able to speak about them obviously in a respectable manner towards my husband similarly my husband should be respectable to me and i just love audrey for that especially that she is so open talani gives me life talani is funny without trying to be funny i admire how hard working they are i admire how open they are how they share their experiences with us and i think every woman i think men not even just women men as well should listen to it because you get an insight into women and it'll help you i think understand women a bit better as well so those are all the podcasts i would recommend i have a plethora of other podcasts i listen to but the ones i spoke about in this video are ones that literally every episode that comes out i listen to i take something away from every episode and i think you should definitely Definitely, definitely check them out and if you do check them out tell them i sent you this one sent me here this one sent me here like say bell michelle sent you there as well yeah please thank you mm. especially if i did send you there although i think a lot of these podcasts some of you may already be aware of and if you're not i hope i did introduce you to some new podcasts that you'd want to listen to and i hope i gave them justice as well in this video so ramadan kareem once again to all my muslim brothers and sisters i hope this month goes really really well for all of us inshallah and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then i would really really appreciate appreciate if you do subscribe and you've gotten to the end of this video so i'm gonna assume that you like me now so i think you should subscribe and come and become a part of my family we're a really lovely family here and if you like this video i think you might like this video here or maybe this video here click on one of those two videos and um yeah check out more of my content and let me continue to entertain you i hope you have a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time you watch this video and i'll see you all in my next video bye